It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hey, I'm uh, Chick McGee at the sports desk. Guy got hit in the balls. Major League Baseball player. Don't go anywhere. Here's Tom. Yikes. Remember poor Yadier Molina, catcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, got hit and ruptured a testicle? Yeah, it exploded. A couple seasons ago. Wow. Remember that? Oh, boy. Yikes. You don't want to Ray Chapman the nuts. No. No. no uh, you don't. You and Ray <laughs> Chapman. <laughs> I don't even get that reference. What would you talk about? Oh, it's Ray an Chapman. unfortunate death that Tom finds <laughs> yeah. a lot of humor in. The only Major League <laughs> Baseball player to <laughs> die on the humor. field. <laughs> oh, My goodness. I hate it when you Google something and you get offended. Uh, uh, so sorry. Oh, come on. It, it, he's been dead about, what, two soon? <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not too soon, but it's... That's when you want to wear a cup. Uh, I'm sorry. We have a lot to get to, so we can move on. Uh, Chick, we really haven't dipped our toes into the world of sports. What's happening over there? Uh, Alcides Escobar lived out every man's worst nightmare last night. The Washington National shortstop was uh, on first base, getting ready to uh, head to second, hopefully. He had a teammate at, at bat. And uh, he was hit square in the family jewels by an errant pickoff attempt from Pirates pitcher. Escobar immediately collapsed to the ground, wincing for a brief moment in pain. And, of course, it sounded a little something oh, no. like this. Two outs, hit a swing. Oh, I think that hit. Oh, my gosh, I think that hit Escobar. Looks like I got it. <laughs> they, have, they can't just okay. yeah, no. at okay. this point he's on his back okay. he's on his back his legs are in the air he's writhing in agony uh, holding his crotch I think. and the TV guys are going uh uh <laughs> and the and the chick McGee of major league baseball play the announcer said I'll say it got him <laughs> <laughs> it, listen it, oh that was that was pretty good two outs hit a swing oh I think that hit oh my gosh I think that hit Looks like I got it. How would this be like uh, if, if uh, let's say, another announcer were doing it? Um, hello, Jim. Uh, oh, my God. Well, what would it mind? sound like? Oh, no. He's down, Jim. Oh, Jim. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, Jim. Oh, I oh, got him in the balls, Jim. Oh, and they were trying to pick him off at first? Yeah, it's a pickoff play. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it's... Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pain, very so painful. he's reaching with his left leg to get back to first. Oh, right? it was all spread so out. So he for is him. as wide open as possible. Right. Uh, and that ball hits him square I in the, in the junk. In yeah. fact, this headline says he takes a pickoff throw to the junk, somehow stays in game. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, they, they go to a yeah. commercial and they come back and he's up sitting around laughing, going, yeah, I know, it really I really mean, he's kind of laughing at first still, but yeah. it's that How long does sucked. it take to recover from that? I bet he felt it long after he was smiling. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, a few minutes. Uh, yeah, it kind depends. of a delay. Sometimes, pain too. I mean, if you if he if they'd ruptured the thing, he wouldn't have been. No. Well, no, no of been. course. Okay. Well, and it wasn't ooh. a it wasn't a, a a pitch to a batter. It was a, a throw. pickoff. For, right. For That's space. right. <laughs> and, and still steal my base. But catchers, yeah. at least, don't they wear metal protection of some kind? Well, yeah, they they've got things down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So those are the guys that I mean. Yeah, they're, they're wide open. Well, sure, yeah. Probably be very Well, that's down. their, yeah. Yeah, they kind of are. They, they, they kind of have to be that way. I see. This yeah. should have been an out. This should be kickball rules. If you hit the guy with the ball, he should be out. Oh, I think that's a good idea. A lot of folks would be watching, be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Two outs, hit a swing. Oh, I think that hit. Oh, my gosh, I think that hit. <laughs> oh, Jim, I'm sorry, you got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, he's down. Oh, he's down. Boy, my stomach oh, hurts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Son of a... Your stomach hurts afterwards, Christy. Did you Does know it? that? Yeah. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah. I don't have any idea. Oh, it's yeah, The light's worse. dim. Even if you're outside, you, yeah. kind of a humid wave goes over your body. No matter yeah. what's happening, you start crying. It's uh, oh. Now, I've heard getting kicked as a woman doesn't feel good. Uh, I've never that been area. kicked yeah. there. Yeah. Really? I've had a ballast beam accident or two, but... That... Ooh. <laughs> a body modification fanatic has removed his ears to mark the end of mask mandates. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little severe. Mr. Michael Faro de Preto is from Brazil. He is known as Human Satan. 
Isn't that nice? You've oh, seen that, you've seen a picture of this guy. It's on my business. Card. Really, he's the, he's the guy that has the horns. Yeah. And, Over time, he has undergone uh, numerous modifications beyond just tattoos and piercings. He has also removed part of his nose. Sharpened his teeth, received <laughs> subdermal implants to make it appear he has horns, tattooed his eyes so they appear black. What Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I dropped my car off earlier this morning. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'm getting an oil change. Uh, I'm, what, my name? Uh, human Satan. Uh -huh. <laughs> According to the sun. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> the tattoo artist has now top, has lopped off his ears after Brazil removed its mask mandate. What a jackass. In an Instagram post, Pareto posted a picture of a mask and his severed ears. A translation of the caption reads, quote, if I don't have to use one anymore, I can dispense with the other, right? So this guy is as terrifying a person yeah. I, as I've ever seen. And you've seen a lot of horror movies. I mean, this is, he's no, he's, this is terrifying. Wow. This is, this is uh, in mental ill, I mean, this is yeah. insane. What are the ethics of that? If you're a plastic surgeon, the guy comes in and says, please cut my ears off. I mean, do you... <laughs> it doesn't matter at this point. He's so hideous. What if he needs glasses? Yeah. I mean... He has to go contacts. <laughs> Velcro. Yeah, monocles. Or monocles. There you go, Some yeah. Some sort of Mad oh, Max yeah, tie around. Yeah. Like uh, the, career, the Abdul uh, Jabbar Rex specs could also work. What if he wants a job with benefits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what no. if he wants to make a living, right, Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, if you read deeper into this, do you know who did the surgery? No. His wife. What? Yeah, she's a... Uh, Is she a doctor? No, she's a piercing artist, whatever you call it. I'm not kidding. If you saw this guy walking down the street, you'd be, you'd be tempted to kill him because How does you would think it was a demon. Ugh. God. Yeah, or something. It yeah. looks like a demon Grinch. He's got half his nose is lopped off. Yeah. That's not an artist illustration. That's actually him. That's Josh? a picture of him. Oh, my yeah, goodness. This guy's a maniac. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I mean, it's nuts. I saw an older picture when he still had the ears and he he, he wore Oakley's. Look kind of douchey. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can pull those off. Everybody this, looks douchey uh, in Oakley's. Uh, police in South Carolina are searching for a person accused of hitting a woman with a plate of whipped cream. Huh. Sergeant Jonathan Bragg with the Greenville Police Department said the victim was pushing her child in a stroller along a sidewalk. Do, 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 do. When a man hit her in the face with a plate of whipped cream. Authorities said similar incidents were reported multiple times throughout the day. Police released an image of the suspect smiling and holding a plate of whipped cream. And anyone with information are asked to contact the Greenville Police Department. <laughs> Somebody knows who this guy is. And Obviously, if he's and on social media. You're supposed to do it as part of a team. A team. Yeah, you know, after you do the whipped cream, then you come out with the old-fashioned seltzer bottle. Okay. Oh, spray old, it off? Spray it off the clown <laughs> car wash thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and now that's an evening new comedy. <laughs> what would you rather see, that or... I have, in all my life, I have never seen a bottle of seltzer water the way they spray it in those old black and white movies. Yeah, I don't know if those exist Do they still anymore? make those? God, those were cool. God, they were cool. And as I said earlier, if you see someone carrying a plate of whipped cream, they're up to no good. You're going to be getting that in the face. Or they want to eat a plate of whipped cream. Well, I think Tom's right on this. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a pie in the face? Would you laugh if somebody got a pie? Yeah, there's old, there's old, I had to film a TV commercial. I got pies in the face all day one day. Pies or whipped cream? Uh, they were made of, it was whipped cream. Okay. But I mean, it was yeah, a whipped cream pie, yeah. Man, I'd love to have seen that. Me too. I mean, I know it's out there. There's was that the 2 one where but you're to be there, Yes. To yeah. be there live. I, I've done it over several times over the decades. <laughs> many, a, many a pie in the face. Chick, I'll do it to him whenever you want. 20 bucks a pie. I'll just walk right over. I'll sneak up behind. I'll just right in his face. I've got $2,000 not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> He's really close to telling us all to shut it up. You know that. <laughs> he's, he's trying it out off the air. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut it up. Uh, and there's <laughs> I'm Chick McGee, and here's here's Tom. Tom, have before. you taken shut it up to home yet? Have oh you, yeah, you, how's that work at just, home? Just you know, Tom? playing with the girls or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shut it up. Oh, that was probably a bad word, isn't no, it? No, yeah, they can't say shut up. Yeah. That's why I was really surprised. Remember that song, Shut Up and Dance? Yeah. Huge hit. My niece loved it because it was the only shut time she was allowed up. to say and, it. And that that there's that channel that plays all the kids singing the songs kids bop kids bop and i would and they they'll change lyrics around all the time so that they're they're nice and kind of pablum yeah and they let that one go 
I was really surprised because, yeah, you, you can't say shut up. They Why have not? A Maybe you want somebody to shut up. <laughs> what do you do? Well, Christy, I'm sure Quit that talking? many that... people have been tempted to say that. Wouldn't I, you, uh, rather at the at award ceremonies, instead of the band starting to politely play, wouldn't you rather just have a team of people go, shut up? Yes. <laughs> shut it up? <laughs> oh, dude, if we had Tom at the next Oscars, oh. just standing and shut it up. There you go. Yeah, oh, better, oh. I, I'd like a trap door. <laughs> Right in the middle of it. That's right. When I started a small theatrical company, <laughs> <laughs> just gone. Now, I think we're, are we getting the electronics uh, ready to go? There yes, we are. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh. Very handsome. Uh, he's got a shirt on. We're surprised. I, I wanted a naked one. Well, we could do uh, what we can do, Christy. We could do strip news. If the uh, if the joke doesn't work, I'll uh, remove a piece of clothing. <laughs> I should be naked in five jokes. <laughs> Uh, well, let's give it a try. It's Jeff Oskey. Do you want to do the intro? Uh, sure. Uh, my name's Jeff Oskey uh, with the Bob and Tom Show. We give you a <laughs> lot of the news. We don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Oskey with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. Elon Musk has offered to buy Twitter for $43 billion. What you failed to mention, not to brag, but my offer has just been accepted to buy MySpace for $10 in Kohl's cash and a strip of Chuck E. Cheese prize tickets. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get to keep my shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. This week, we celebrated Barbershop Quartet Day. What oh, you failed nice. to mention, Barbershop Quartet Day, or as I call it, looks like I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A woman accidentally pushed the wrong button on a lottery vending machine and won $10 million. What you failed to mention, last time I pushed the wrong button on a vending machine, all I got was a three-year-old roll of certs. <laughs> certs. Tom loves certs. It's a breath you mint. Remember, you remember it's a, certs? It's a breath mint. With yeah. Retson. It's a candy mint. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, that, was, that was the debate. It'd be, it's, it, remember they'd have the two right. people, certs is a breath mint. Certs is a candy mint. I don't remember the it was oh. like, hey, I remember Retson. Bing, but I don't remember. The drop of Retson. Mm -hmm. I think you're wrong. Um... Facebook <laughs> is coming out with new Zuck box. What you failed to mention, Josh, I'll bet you 20 Zuck box that the new Zuck box suck. <laughs> wow. uh, a man has gone on an all beer diet for Lent. Uh -huh. What you failed to mention since going on the diet, the man has already lost an impressive 23 pounds and his job. <laughs> <laughs> A group is raising money for a charity. I don't have the time nor the energy to look up. Set a new world record for the largest sock collection. Mm -hmm. What you failed to mention, uh, while the Oske household still holds the record for the most single unmatchable socks collection. Yes. Yes. I've got two laundry baskets full. If you're ever missing just one single sock, I guarantee you, we got the match for it. Where do they go? <laughs> oh. There's a new Long John Silver's beer, a beer inspired by Long John Silver's restaurant. What you failed to mention, I'm surprised they didn't go with a malt liquor. <laughs> sure. Yeah. For multiple reasons. <laughs> There he is. Here I thought it was a... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, right. I'm, I'm yeah. just a yeah. jerk. Yeah. Liquor, liquor, you see. see. Liquor. Liquor. David Rush set a record for most thumbtacks pushed into a cork board in one minute. What you failed to mention, didn't tack up even one photo of his family. <laughs> Not even one photo. A life-size Sasquatch was stolen out of a person's front yard this week. What you failed to mention, I'm no Matlock, but if I were the police, I'd be questioning any neighbor currently trying to sell their home. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of cocaine and marijuana have washed up on the shores of the Florida Keys over the past month. What you failed to mention, police say if you come across the drugs, you are uh, one lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what the police are saying, not me. Yeah. <laughs> They're currently using uh, electroshock therapy to uh, cure premature ejaculation. Mm. Yeah. What you failed to mention, uh, huh, I, 
You'd think the jumper cables would get in the way of the love making. <laughs> well, all right. I know. I like that joke. <laughs> he said, "Here comes the." Oh, oh the shirt's being unbuttoned. There it is. I thought that was all a very right. nice joke, okay. Jeff. You didn't really have all to. Right. I can keep the shirt on. All right. Okay. You don't want to see some of that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. What's the, what very is the low nipples? What is the tattoo there? Oh, it's a uh, it's a snake in a rose. Because uh, at 18, I wanted to show everyone how white trash I was. <laughs> All right, and finally, every I, snake has a rose. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I can't believe that guy put that on me. He should have sent me out. Go home and read a book, you loser. Um, and finally, a 23 inch dildo was recovered from a man after doctors had to create a machine to remove the foreign object. Well, you failed to mention that had to be one painful drive to the ER. No? Okay. No, yeah. I mean, and, and my thing, uh, here, here. if you're the guy, do you you can play this two ways. You can you can come in and lie. Oh, I fell off the step stool while hanging my new blinds. Or, uh, Willie, do you own it when you go in and just go, hey, Doc, it looks like I got myself in one hell of a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. I'm Jeff Aske, and this what has been the news. to mention. Yeah. Jeff all right. There, there, we, go. Thank you, there Jeffrey. he goes. Wow. Okay. That was a great He one. does have very low nipples. <sighs> low nipples. The low? I have very wide nipples. He has very low nipples. You mean they are set wide apart? Yeah, they're wide. I saw the color wide. of your nipples. Totally threw me off. Didn't oh, really? see it come. Yeah, it was like a twist in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. No, why? Wasn't there a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remember for those the... of you who don't know, uh, solid gold shakes nipples. <laughs> yeah. uh... I'm the chosen one. We all know it. <laughs> Remember we everybody. Everybody. Watch the entire show live or on demand at at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app and be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.